What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fazzy Fitness. So let's start this video with the former two times Arnold Classic champion and the former Miss Olympia as well, Brandon Curry. So did Brandon just hint in his recent IG life that he might do this upcoming Arnold, which is happening next year in March. So Brandon is out there in Dubai for the Dubai Pro event. And I have to say the man looked really small. Any plans for the Arnold? You know, you never know. Right now, I gotta get home. And I think Brandon should 100% do more shows in 2025, as I think it was clearly a miscalculation, on his peak, for this year's Miss Olympia. Because Brandon's first impression on the stage, that I have to say was extremely impressive, as far as my impression is concerned, because he was able to bring up his quads, which seemed almost impossible up until last year. But Brandon was able to bring up his legs to a certain extent. And if only he was a bit more drier, a bit more conditioned, especially in the lower half, he would have definitely placed a lot better. Because I think this Olympia package, that was far better than last year or even better than 2022. And he placed fourth in both of those years. And this argument, that the judges aren't giving these older guys a fair look, that is totally false. Because the judges put William Bonac over Rafael Brandao. And it was suspected that this is gonna be William Bonac's last Miss Olympia. But still, they placed him ahead of Rafael Brandao. And he 100% deserved that. So maybe Brandon should give his coach more chances. Because first of all, he was able to bring up his legs. And second of all, because if these guys can bring him in a bad conditioning, if they can bring him more drier, Brandon can do extremely well at this upcoming Arnold. And I have to say it's the worst time to just compete only once per year. Because let's be real, Brandon isn't placing top 3 at the Olympia again, no matter what he does. But he can make a lot of good money by competing at some of these other big shows like the Arnold, like Pittsburgh, like Dubai Pro, and maybe carry that momentum to the Olympia 2025. It is so great to see Andrew Jack doing this UK tour. He is definitely one of the most loved bodybuilders by the fans all over the world right now. So Andrew is making sure that he remains regimented with his diet and with his training because he has confirmed his attendance for this upcoming Arnold. And as of right now, Andrew has won all the shows that he has entered except for the Arnold and the Olympia. And I believe we are gonna see a great package from Andrew Jack at this year's Arnold stage because we have seen this so many times. He always looks super tight and really conditioned in the first show of the season. So one thing that is pretty clear in Andrew's mind is that he won't have to play the size game in order to challenge all these top guys who beat him at the Olympia. He has to find that sweet spot where the man has enough roundness and fullness. For instance, like he had at this year's Texas Pro. And at the same time, he looked extremely detailed from the front. So his Texas Pro Finals look that was the ideal example of what the judges wanted to see from him. And if he can bring that kind of detail, that kind of suppression, with the current size that he has, I think he is gonna be very dangerous. Now I get that why these guys played the size game for this year's Miss Olympia. They wanted to overpower guys like Hadi Choban and Derek, but that clearly did not work. We did not even got to see 90% of Andrew at the Olympia this year. But the fact that Andrew isn't the strongest in the side charts and the back shots, and he shows up in a decent condition, and still the man places top 5 in the world. That is enough to prove that him at his 100%, he can win any show that he enters, including the Arnold and the Olympia. Next up is the physique update from Rafael Brandao. So he went through an entire posing round with his trainer after going through a chest workout. So considering that this is the post-show phase, where these guys are most prone to injuries, and that is why they do not go very heavy in the gym. But Rafael's shape and his conditioning, that is looking really solid at this point. And it seems like he might be competing sooner than expected. Now, as per his own expectations, he massively underperformed at the Olympia this year. Because William Bonac, that wasn't even on their radar when they were thinking that top 5 is very realistic for him. So part of the reason why he plays top 8 is that he wasn't as rutted as some of these other top guys were. Now the fans of bodybuilding, they are pretty happy that the judges did not give a whole lot of weight to the shredded glutes this year. 
because Raphael was visibly soft in that aspect. Still, I have to say it was a win for him in terms of the overall size that he brought to this year's Olympia stage and top 8 in the world. That isn't bad at all. He did improve on his placings from 2022 to 2024 and now he is the 8th best bodybuilder in the world. So will he do one of these upcoming shows like Romania or Prague or maybe the big man weekend? Considering how peeled he looks at the moment in this update, he must go for one of these and win this one and get his Olympia qualification for next year as early as he possibly can. Because the thing is, we all know that Rafael Bandao isn't one of those genetic freaks like Sam Zandauda for instance, who can get a lot bigger from one show to the next. He needs a proper offseason, just like he had in 2023. And we saw the results of that, his hard work this year. So Rafael was definitely a lot bigger this time, but he still doesn't have enough size to be in the top 5 to fight with guys like Andrew Jack and Sam Zandauda. So what do you guys think? Should Rafael prep for this upcoming Arnold? Or just do a show right now, secure his Olympia spot and shut it down for the rest of the season and focus on the Olympia next year? So watching Florian Parson close to 300 pounds in this sort of off-season condition, that really makes you wonder, how did he survive all those years? When he was trying to be a classic physique combatter, clearly his body wanted to grow, it wanted to get bigger. And right now he is the heaviest he has ever been, as well as the leanest he has ever been for this kind of body weight. So 2025 will be the year. This bodybuilding star is going to return to the men's open bodybuilding stage, and that too after so many years. And I for one am really excited to see this one. So how did he do as a classic physique pro? So in terms of the placings, the last show that he did, the Taiwan Pro back in 2023, he placed runner-up. So it was a decent placing after all. But in terms of the physique that he presented here in 2023 versus the one that we saw back in 2019 at his pro debut in Portugal, there is just no comparison. The shape along with the size that Florian had back in 2019, we have no idea how many shows he would have won by now if he stayed in the men's open class and he continued to improve his back. But the thing is mentally and psychologically, he wasn't in the right place, especially to pursue men's open and all the things that come with it. So Florian made his announcement of going back to men's open back in March. So it has been more than a few months of solid off season. So look out for him in 2025. Next up is another physique update from a Brazilian bodybuilding star, Bruno Santos. That guy who made his Olympia debut just a couple of weeks back. And I have got to say what an incredible season this was for Bruno Santos. He plays third in Italy, winner in Europa Pro and second at Legion Sports. So his coach Milo said that they will fight for the top 10 spot but that was all based on the assumption that some of these other guys they will come in off. So still Bruno was able to beat two guys Muhammad Fada and Theo Laguerre on his Olympia debut and we have to keep in mind this was Theo's third consecutive appearance at the Olympia stage. So Bruno did bring some impressive mass to this year's Olympia stage but this is the Olympia we are talking about and for a guy that has a build like Bruno who isn't the biggest guy, neither he has those amazing aesthetics. Enjoying his first Olympia experience, that means a lot. So Bruno looked great against Brad Wilkin in Legion. And I have to say if he was in the same condition as Brad Wilkin, who knows, he might have won that show as well. I mean the man looked really good in Italy, going up against guys like Hunter Lebrara and Andre Presti. So the size is definitely there to get to the Olympia stage every single year. So hopefully he will come back with a better condition whenever he decides to step back on the stage sometime next year. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.